Hello guys, welcome back to another video. This is Anirudh here and today we are going to look at how to solve partial differential equations in Python. So we have a library called as SciPy, which, are, which gives you a bunch of tools to solve partial differential equations. So inside the SciPy.integrate library, we have two modules, namely the ordinary integral and the solve IDP. So these two modules allow us to solve partial differential equations. Uh, the main difference between both of these is that ordinary ODE Ordent is a very classical, you know, version which uh, is able to solve using the LSODA method, and it is generally used for, um, you know, equations that are uh, purely in the ordinary form. Whereas if you want a more generalized case and more customizations, you can use the solve IDP function, and uh, this sort of chooses the right um, method to solve uh, an equation from a list of you know methods so now what we're going to do is we have first imported some basic uh, you know libraries so we have numpy matplotlib for plotting of course and scipy to actually um, compute the integral so first let's start with the most basic you know partial differential equation so let's say we have a first order partial differential equation which is uh, v dash or dv by dt is equal to alpha v square minus beta it's of this form and uh, we are given that the initial condition v of zero is equal to zero so now using these two um, you know information using these two we are just uh, you know creating a function over here so dv by dt is equal to we're just assigning some variables for alpha and beta namely three and five so dv by dt is equal to three v square minus five and v naught is equal to zero we have defined this over here and now what we're going to do is we are going to try to solve this equation using the code int and the solve IVP method. And we'll check out the results of each of them. Okay, now, now that we have defined the partial differential equation, um, we will, you know, take another variable t. And let's say you want the result of this um, partial differential equation between numbers 0 and 1. So what this does is it just um, creates like, it, it sort of, helps you to compute the value uh, of the solution of this partial differential equations in 100 equally spaced intervals before between 0 and 1. That is what the lin space command does. And now uh, we take two solutions. The first solution is using the ordent method and the second is using the IDP method. So we have to pass in various parameters. Uh, so first we um, you know, pass in the fact that function is stored in this and then we give the initial condition. We give the place where, you know, we need to store the solution to this, which is t. And then t first equal to true. You don't really have to bother about what this exactly means. Just, you know, assume for now that it works. We have the next solution using the solve IVP method. Here also we give, uh, you know, the function value. We pass in the function value. Like you can see it over here. So, yeah. We pass in the function value, we pass in the span. Span as in between which values do you want to compute the result? So zero to max of t and max of t is one, right? So you compute that, you give the initial condition and uh, you give the variable uh, inside which you want to store the solution. Okay. Now we have to extract the solution from these two variables. So generally when, you know, So generally, uh, in the solve IVP method, uh, a 2D matrix is, you know, returned with the shape of, you know, the number of variables into the number of time points. So T is the time point, the number of variables is, you know, two over here. So you don't really take, have to take the transpose of this. But then the OD int returns a 2D array with the shape of, you know, number of time points into the number of variables. And for this reason, you take a transpose so that both both of these methods uh, have the same shape. And at the end, you can, you know, sort of compare their results. That's the purpose for which we take a transpose over here and we don't take a transpose over here. And then we go ahead and plot it. And we find that between, you know, values 0 and 1, we take, you know, 100 equally spaced points and plot both of them. And we find that both of them return the same result. Now, this was like the, you know, most basic sort of uh, example. Now, what if we have like, uh, you know, a bunch of 
you know, let's say we have a vector s which is uh, you know um, sort of dependent on y1 and y2 so we need to compute both uh, you know y1 dash and y2 dash when we want to compute ds right so ds by dx will be this dy1 by dx and dy2 by dx and uh, how you do this is you just you know sort of pass in both of these um, you know functions so we can reduce y1 dash we are given y1 dash over here we can pass that y1 plus y2 square plus 3x and y2 dash this is also given over here in the question we pass both of these and then again we perform a very similar sort of uh, method uh, we uh, you know specify that the initial conditions both of them are zero and we store the solution inside this sorry uh, we store that inside at s underscore zero which is a accumulation of the initial conditions for y1 and y2 and using this we again call in the odent function um, give like a times time points give a variable to store the time points and again call the odent function and now here uh, we take like the zeroth and first element in the solution return since we have you know two uh, variables that we want to compute for y1 and y2 so we take the zeroth which is for y1 and first which is for y2 y1 and y2 solution and then plot it so this is the plot for the y1 and y2 solution so this was uh, an example for a coupled first order uh, you know ordinary differential equation oops okay now we are uh, now what if we want to you know do more uh, complex stuff as in we want to solve a second order ordinary differential equation something like this so dx square by uh, sorry d square x by dd square minus dx by dt whole square plus sine x that is what this uh, simply means so what we can do is instead of you know in python generally you cannot solve a second order differential equation but there is a trick to you know sort of get around this what we can do is we can assign you know dx by dt as v and now using v on the second order differential equation we can convert it into a first order differential equation in the variable v just like how i've shown over here let me just um, space that properly yeah so first we define dx by dt as v we take a variable v and then we substitute v back into this original equation so that we get a first order differential equation and then we go ahead and solve both of these uh, so I hope that is clear. Um, we give like a random initial conditions and store it in the s underscore zero, which is which contains the initial condition for both these variables. And then we again call the odent function and take the transpose. We calculate for uh, you know the x solution and the v solution and plot it. And you know here we can see the x solution and the t solution. Maybe let me just yeah so. This is the solution for x and this is the solution for v. Oops. Yeah. And now let's look at both of these together. Yeah. We get the x and the v solution. And, uh, you know, in this way, we can solve partial differential equations in Python. So uh, the problem is you cannot really um, get the, you know, solution of the equation as such. What we can do is um, it is able to sort of solve the equation and plot it so that you know, generally, when you want to solve partial differential equations, like uh, in most questions, uh, let's say you want, you know, you have an equation for air friction while, uh, let's say, a simple body is falling down. So in, in such an equation, maybe you want to find the, you know, air friction at some point uh, in between. So in these cases, you can just, you just want to know the value and not the equation as such, right? So when you want to do such stuff, uh, when you want to find the value or something like that um, this method is really useful so uh, this is just like a small tutorial to help you guys compute partial differential equations similarly if you have like third or fourth order differential equations what you can do is you can follow a similar method just like sorry um, just like how i had shown above you can just uh, you know split apart this nth order equation into a bunch of first order differential equations pass it like this you know and then you know give the initial conditions and then just go ahead and solve it that's very simple to do and in this method you can just solve any differential equation um, that's all for this video thanks for watching